As you tune up and down the radio dial in Tidewater, you'll find a myriad of music on the area's 30 or so radio stations. There's rock music, country music, religious music, soul music, and every combination in between. But today is the day the music died on WHNE, also known as Honey Radio. As a matter of fact, Honey died as it became WNIS Radio, an all-news and talk station. The station's news director, Doug Boynton, explains what the station is trying to do. We're talking news talk, uh, which includes news blocks, uh, whole periods of time in the morning and the afternoon, uh, where we're doing the news and keeping up on what's going on and passing that information along. The other side of it, of course, is the, uh, the telephone talk show, which sort of gives us an input uh, and lets the listener tell us what's on, what's on his or her mind. Thank you. Where are you calling from? From Virginia Beach. Hello, Virginia Beach. Nice day out there, huh? Certainly is. Go ahead. WNIS will broadcast solid news, information, and sports from 6 to 9 a.m. and 4 to 6 p.m., and then feature call-in talk shows throughout the rest of the day. There has been another attempt at talk radio in the Tidewater area, and ironically, it was from the same facility, but with a different owner. Back when it was called WKLX, it was part of the unsuccessful NBC News and Information Service. But this time, the station thinks it will succeed where others fail, because its owners say they're making the monetary commitment in people and promotion. So while other Tidewater radio stations are dividing the pie of the musical listener, WNIS is hoping that its new format will become the talk of the town. Mike Deason, Area 10 Eyewitness News.